Hello everyone. Welcome to my classroom. I'm Meetu Ann Thomas, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Civil Engineering, SNIT Adur. I've been teaching you principles of management, which is being taught for the sixth semester K2 BTEC students. So in our last class, we've learned about controlling, what it really means and what are the processes or the importance of controlling. In this class, we're learning about types of control. Controlling was needed in an organization for gaining successful result at the end of the process. So types of control are divided on the basis of time at which the control is applied. So depending on the time at which the control is applied, it is divided into feed forward control, concurrent control, and feedback control. Right. So what do you mean by feed forward, feedback and concurrent control? That is what we will learn in this lecture. So firstly, when you talk about feed forward control. So what is feed forward? When managers need effective control in a system that will tell them the time to take a corrective action well in advance before the problem occurs so in an organization we will plan something for the project and there are chances that it get disrupted in between and we need to start again so here in this feed forward control a manager will know the corrective action well advance before the problem occurs so at the same time he'll be knowing what to do that is feed forward control that is when managers implement control even before the actual activity begins. It is called feed forward control. So this is feed, feed forward control. That is when managers implement control even before the actual activity begins. It is called feed forward control. So the feed forward control is also known as input control or steering control. Input or steering control right so this type of control focuses on the human resources physical resources and financial resources that become the input for the transformation process so feed forward control seeks to minimize or prevent the performance deficiencies through a precautionary control system that is in advance they are doing the control system the success of feed forward control depends on the ability of the managers to anticipate the problem so solely it depends upon the quality of the managers how well they can perform a task in a crucial situation right so it's it is a timely in a timely method or a, a timely control that we are focusing on a feed forward control that is well in advance we are uh, anticipating that the manager is anticipating what would be the situation and they are giving right control methods so that is feed forward control so for feed, for feed forward control, you need a thorough and careful analysis of the planning and control systems and to identify more important input variables. Right, so that is one of the requirement of feed forward control. Now we'll see what is feedback control system. of future actions on the basis of information of the past experience. That is, already the project or the situation has crossed and after analyzing the deficiencies that happened in the project, we are correct or we are making the corrective steps in the coming project or in the next project. So, 
The primary aim of this control is to identify the undesirable output and apply corrective action. So in this approach, the information received is the feedback is spread into the trade discussion team, which is where the remedial action. So here remedial action is taken and effective measures are taken to be for the next fraud. The weakness of this control is that there may be a time delay in taking corrective action. To solve the problem. So we here. Now I can explain you where we have the diagram. So there's a desired performance. Desired performance. After which there is an actual performance that is happening. After actual performance, there will be measurements of the actual pressure, actual performance. That is how well they have done the project. Measurement of actual performance. After that, there will be a comparison. Comparison of actual performance against the standards. After which there is identification of deviations. After identification there is analysis on that. After analysis only we will find out the real problem right. So corrective action is being assumed or identified and implementation of corrective action that is at last implementation of corrective actions so this is a, a simple layout of a feedback control system So third one is concurrent controls. Concurrent controls is exercised when the work activity is in progress. That is in between if we need to make any changes in our plan, then we can give a concurrent control process. So it is called real-time control or process control. Real-time because it happens in a real-time. Okay. So this control concentrates on the present situation. So when the performance standards are not met, managers or any other authorized person can stop the work activity at any point of time and make the necessary corrections needed. So the main aim of this process is to solve the problem while it occurs. So that is the main aim of this concurrent control system. So it is a well-known uh, form of a concurrent system as a direct supervision by managers or supervisors. So the main advantage of this control system is that it ensures that transformation process is functioning properly and that the expected results are achieved. So this also makes sure that the work problems are attended to before they become too costly. So the strength of this control is that it attempts to eliminate or reduce the delay between the actual performance and the feedback of the performance because we've seen in our feed forward and feedback control that it takes a lot of time to rectify the corrections. So we, this concurrent system or concurrent control system is one of the effective ways of functioning. So when the construction is behind the schedule, corrective measures can be taken while in progress that is concurrent system so hope i'm clear about the feed forward control feedback control and concurrent control system so these three control systems occur in three different time so now we're going to see the comparison of feed forward and feedback control system with the help of a diagram so there is a input factor there is a processing process that is happening and there is an output that we receive so there can be desired values of outputs and uh, feed forward 
happens before this input right so here we have uh, studied that uh, in feed forward control system what happens the before giving the input we are controlling the process that is feed forward control now at the output there will be feedback right so feedback in the sense uh, after receiving the output after this project is over you receive the output with all the corrections so after analyzing the output or after analyzing the whole process you get the feedback control so you can have a quality analysis after the output so you get the desired results of outputs also that is a standard outputs so here the thing is that um, this fee feed forward control can be assessed either with the input or with the process so there's the input factor there's a process factor and there is an output factor so this feed forward or in feedback system in both the systems you can have a rectifications or can add to the controls in the process system also process part also so there is an input part where in feed feed forward control system we rectify or we have a second or a secondary plan or idea for handling out the situation so you have feed forward before input the rectification of the problem can be done in the process stage also that is why the arrow is being directed this way and after receiving the output and feedback system uh, after receiving the output whether it is a positive or negative output you go for analysis and you get a desired result and you go after analysis you again make rectifications in the process part so that after process you get the desired output result hope it is clear this is just a comparison of a diagram which uh, says about feed forward and feedback control systems hope it's clear so that's all for the day thank you